we do get to see Zatai rematch. Not rookie, but he will be taking it up again. Yeah. SFM is going to spot out Amy, though. Managed to get a lot of burst onto the Elise before she can respond in Crystal. Aggressively <laughs> flashes over the wall. Then Elise comes down, and whoa, Amy manages to get over. Sonic Wave onto the Dragon. Get Slowed. him, Drake. Otto, uh. he's healing up. It's one more. Aww. Oh, the Cocoon. Amy's doing a lot of damage right now, though. He is deep in enemy territory. Hops oh, over well. the wall, and that's a heal. Amy <laughs> still survives, dies to the red buff from FOFM. But now PYL's got doubles. Let's go, bottom. Of course, the limp won't walk backwards. What are you doing, Amy? He's taking a lot of damage from this. Good proc on the Amy. crystal, and Amy is still standing there. He's waiting for the perfect opportunity. Chrono break from Zatai, but that's not a lot of mana. Here comes Amy. He's got to deal with four summoner spells. Cocoon catches Crystal. They're going to burst him down. Heal keeps him alive for just a second longer. OQ is able to make it under his turret. Well, I mean, Amy That's took why the Thunderlords make sense. They're even teleporting. Flash means SOFM oh, makes it away, hello. but the max range fish finds OQ as Jinu teleports into the back line and is able to burn through Crystal's health along with OQ. Two kills, LGD. And LGD just burned through more than OQ's health bar. Very next fault. Ooh, Amy gets the cocoon on Zatai mid dash. Repel gets him away, so he's able to survive and get good damage onto SOFM. PYL is on the hunt for another kill. That's Chrono Break, sending him back. He's burning down, but Godfrey's the one who gets it. They've got him completely covered. Zatai was forced to use the ultimate. <laughs> the Janu trying to defend his tier one, managed to land the fish and clear out a lot of minions. And kicked against the wall, dodges over, still going 1v3. Another Grasp is finally dropped. Have they got the damage to burn it through? No, they don't. They do not, in fact. And Godfrey shows up in time to punish Crystal 6 to 1. <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> Just watching. Maybe that he's on Victor, not something a little bit more flashy. But it looks like Imp is making up for it, along with PYL and Amy. That is a lot of flashes. They made sure he's dead. They did. They really made it. 15 minutes in, teleport bottom. Jinu shows up just in time to defend that tier one turret and continues to all in and chase Zitai down, forces the chrono break, leaps over one, follows through two, but Jinu falls. Meanwhile, equalizer on three, that's a lot of damage onto Godvi. Flandre's trying to get in from the side, but Imp is face tanking him as Crystal gets destroyed by LGD. They continue. Able, they're doing so right now is Jinu, giving the casual one on one to Flandre. Managed to catch w. him right as he overheats, leaps over the equalizer, but Imp shows up down there as well. That's the AD carry and Godvi. The two carries roam throughout the dark vision of Snake and kill the split yeah. top laner. And SOFM's now in the enemy jungle instead of recall. But he can press as Snake now group up his five, break down that middle Imp. turret. They're trying to burst through Imp, but that's so much being done to keep him standing. The turret is still alive, and they turn around for a kill. Jinu. Jinu teleport flanks onto OQ. They manage to tag onto Zatai. He's got Chrono Break, but he'll make his way back into the team if he activates this game. Let's see if Imp is as good as Uzi and doesn't actually tank. It's Godvi and Imp in the pit right now as Jinu gets kicked away. That Sonic Wave onto Godvi. SOFM rides it in. 1,700 health. He's silenced, but it will be picked up by Amy. Down to 400 health. A little closer than I think it needed to be. Yeah, they were playing with fire there, LGD, that but bottom they're... lane, as they look to finish off this mid-in hit, Baron buff only empowers minions and enhances recall. It doesn't actually give you any combat stats. As Imp looks like they're going to 100-0 him right now. Do they have the damage? They do. It's four versus five. Zatai managing to get good damage onto Godby's Amy. He here. comes down over the side. Jinu finally joins up with Godvi. And Flandre gets popped by Amy, the auto attack God executes not done. And Godby continues chasing, scaring OQ back, gets big damage onto Crystal, walking through the Nexus turrets to zone away the rest of Snake, turning onto Zatai. He has got his fountain standing. Oh, goodness. Where are you going to go? It's going to be close. He's trying to heal up. Ah, <laughs> the zone control from Godby as he takes that kill, and they now turn. What are you guys oh, doing? Where are you on. going? <laughs> Get onto the Nexus. Go to the Nexus. LGD. I hope you die, Amy. <laughs> you hope SOFM manages to kill him here? You get, get back over that Nexus and go. end the damn game. Jinu is like, I know I might be the new guy on this roster, but I hear that actually ending the game is pretty good. Finally turns onto the Nexus, breaks it down, and LGD take game number one. The moment it doesn't matter, is the moment they play their best. Yeah, they never really looked like losing that game. So whether it's LGD looking their best or Snake looking at their worst,
because they've just found out they're not going to make playoffs. There's an emotional...